Engine is the most important part of taking the aircraft to the sky. It is also the factor that causes a lot of nerves in both carriers and manufacturers because of noise and emission issues. But now, a brand new type of engine is about to come and change the situation forever. Find out in this video of Flagavia. What is that engine and why is it better than other conventional jet engines? But before we start, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you'll be the first to see our next videos. Now, let's dive in. The engine we're talking about here is hydrogen engine, so how does it work? Hydrogen serves as a powerful elixir for jet engines. It's a versatile element that can power fuel cells via an electrochemical reaction or be directly burned in engines. It delivers a punch that's three times stronger than traditional jet fuels. These engines feature a broad flammability range and a high auto-ignition temperature, contributing to sustainable flight with reduced emissions of carbon and nitrogen oxides, as well as less energy waste. Hydrogen stands out as an ideal complement to renewable energy, positioning itself as a leading energy source. In terms of operation, it mirrors the fundamental mechanics of traditional jet engines. It begins by inhaling air and compressing it through multiple compressors. Following this, fuel is introduced to the compressed air and ignited in a combustion chamber, resulting in a swift stream of heated gas. This gas is then expelled via a nozzle situated at the engine's rear, generating substantial thrust that propels the aircraft forward. A fraction of the energy produced at the engine's rear end also powers an internal turbine, which then rotates the compressor at the front through a central shaft. Turbojet engines are essentially a variant of gas turbines, and their adaptations, known as turbofans and turboprops, are prevalent in commercial aircraft. These adaptations harness some of the engine's rear energy to drive a turbine, which then powers a fan or propeller at the front, drawing in additional air and boosting efficiency at reduced flight speeds. One of the thrilling features of such engines is the exhaust, which includes water vapor. These engines act as real fighters to guarantee a clean and green environment. Similarly, hydrogen-based aircraft comprise various fuel capacities considering the kind and design. More often, such aircraft provide sensational ranges because of the advanced hydrogen density. It's lightweight and continuously modified to hold up and enhance its efficiency. Actually, the inception of hydrogen-fueled flight doesn't just appear recently, but can be traced back to 1957 with NASA's pioneering 20-minute journey above Lake Erie in North America. Initially, the aircraft ascended using kerosene-powered jet engines and then transitioned to hydrogen for the cruising phase. Similarly, in 1988, the Soviet Union took to the skies with a hydrogen aircraft. The impetus behind these early ventures was the concern over depleting kerosene reserves, coupled with the advantage that hydrogen aircraft could soar to greater heights. While specific information is scarce, it is believed that the Soviet aircraft holds the distinction of being the first to operate solely on hydrogen, a project that ceased with the dissolution of the Soviet Union. These initial models laid the groundwork for the significant advancements in technology that have since been made. One has been developed by Rolls-Royce, for example. On November 28th, Rolls-Royce announced a groundbreaking achievement in aviation. They successfully operated an aircraft engine using hydrogen. This significant development represents the first of its kind globally and underscores the potential of hydrogen as a pivotal element in making air travel more environmentally friendly. The test involved a modified Rolls-Royce AE-2100A regional aircraft engine powered by green hydrogen, which was produced using renewable energy sources like wind and tidal power. Rolls-Royce, in collaboration with EasyJet, is also on a mission to demonstrate the viability of hydrogen for powering commercial aircraft engines safely and effectively. They are already preparing for a subsequent series of tests, with the ultimate goal of conducting flight tests in the future. Besides Rolls-Royce, Airbus, and CFM International, a collaborative venture between GE and Safran aircraft engines are also spearheading a unique project, a hydrogen demonstration initiative utilizing the A380 as a flying test bed equipped with liquid hydrogen tanks. In 2020, Airbus unveiled four concepts for hydrogen-powered aircraft showcasing the potential of this clean energy source in aviation. Three of these concepts relied on a combination of hydrogen combustion and hybrid engines, while the fourth was a fully electric design powered by hydrogen fuel cells driving a propeller. These fuel cells generate electricity through a chemical reaction with hydrogen, with water being the only emission, making it an almost emission-free technology. Recognizing the potential of hydrogen fuel cells to significantly reduce carbon emissions in aviation, Airbus selected this technology for further exploration within the Zero-E demonstrator project. However, they faced a challenge. Existing hydrogen fuel cells couldn't provide the necessary energy for aircraft propulsion without adding too much weight. To address this, Airbus partnered with L. 
Ringklinger in October this 20th 20 to form Aerostack, aiming to develop hydrogen fuel cell stacks suitable for the Zero E aircraft's electric propulsion system. The E aircraft system house in Otterburn, Germany, became the hub for extensive testing of these fuel cell systems. By June the 20th, 23, Airbus had achieved a milestone with the successful test of the hydrogen fuel cell system, reaching a full power output of 1.2 megawatts, the most powerful aviation fuel cell test to date. This success marked a significant advancement towards integrating the complete propulsion system with the electric motor. The Zero E team ended 2023 on a high note, powering the electric motors of the iron pod with hydrogen fuel cells for the first time, a critical step in validating the technology for flight. The next phase involves continuous testing and optimization of the propulsion system to meet flight specification, with the ultimate goal of conducting in-flight tests on the A380 by 2026. But of course, as with any technological advancement, hydrogen-fueled aviation is not without its challenges, with storage being a primary obstacle. The favored form of hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, due to its greater energy density, requires storage at extremely low temperatures, specifically around minus 253 degrees Celsius. While liquid hydrogen has the advantage of offering almost three times the energy density of kerosene by weight, the total weight of the fuel system, including the storage tanks, is roughly 1.5 times greater than that of a kerosene-based system. In terms of space, the issue is just as challenging. The liquid hydrogen storage system would need approximately four times the volume compared to a standard kerosene fuel system, which makes tra traditional storage methods in aircraft wings unfeasible. However, engineers from all over aren't giving up and are coming up with clever ways to tackle the tough parts of making hydrogen planes work. The UK's Aerospace Technology Institute has come up with some cool ideas, like putting a big hydrogen tank at the back of the plane. They've made sure this tank is really well insulated and has its own cooling system to keep the hydrogen cold enough to stay liquid. Since this tank is heavy and makes the back of the plane heavier, they've added an extra little wing at the front called a canard to keep the plane balanced. They've even thought up a bigger design where they put more hydrogen tanks under the wings, which makes the plane look pretty unique. They're hoping that with these extra tanks, the plane could fly as far as 6,000 nautical miles. The second big hurdle for flying with hydrogen is figuring out how to get enough of it without breaking the bank, since making it with green energy still costs a lot. Plus, even though hydrogen engines don't spit out any CO2, they do run hotter, which means they end up making more nitrous oxide, a different kind of polluting gas. You can bet that people will come up with some smart fixes for these problems as time goes on. It's also going to be cool to see how hydrogen engines get used in other heavy-duty rides, like army tanks and big ships, which like them for their strong punch. Besides, while the core concepts of a hydrogen jet engine mirror those of a conventional jet engine, certain alterations are required. Firstly, the fueling system, including components like pumps, fuel lines, and injectors, must be modified to facilitate the conversion of liquid hydrogen into its gaseous form for even distribution within the engine. The combustion chamber's design must be tweaked to enhance the combustion process of the hydrogen air mix. Due to the fact that hydrogen ignites at a much higher temperature than traditional jet fuels, it's necessary to develop new engine components that can tolerate these intense temperatures, which may necessitate the use of innovative coating or merials. Lastly, considering that hydrogen combusts at a rate that is 10 times faster than that of regular jet fuel, sophisticated control systems are crucial to ensure consistent flame stability. But all in all, hydrogen jet engines are set to revolutionize the aviation industry with their array of advantages over conventional jet engines. Boasting a higher energy density, hydrogen offers more power with less weight, leading to lighter, more efficient aircraft propulsion and marking it as an ideal future aviation fuel. Environmentally, hydrogen engines are a game changer, producing zero CO2 emissions and some other pollutants aligning with global net zero goals and climate action. Operationally, hydrogen refueling is quicker, enhancing turnaround times, and its production can be localized, ensuring energy security. The engine's high combustion velocity and broad flammability range further enhance efficiency, making hydrogen a sustainable, promising alternative fuel for aviation's eco-friendly transformation. So, what do you think about this new engine? Are you excited to see it in the future? Please let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it.